Hi everyone, and welcome to Easy Tutorial Bits. In this video, we'll link sample tanks parameters to the MIDI app, which I also explained how to use and link to your keyboard knobs and faders in the 11th video of this series. The pitch wheel is already linked to this knob, which is universal throughout FL Studio. So we'll link the modulation wheel and the other knobs and faders. This is done with continuous controllers, or CC for short, which are standardized. For more information on this, check the previous video. Some multi-output VSTs like Sample Tank don't give you the option to assign DCC numbers within the VST. In that case, we'll essentially have to assign them to Sample Tank's parameters using FL Studio's browser, and then configure the knobs in the MIDI out to trigger that CC number. Select the plugins wrapper and go to Browse Parameter. FL Studio's browser now shows all the parameters that you can assign. Now in general, the modulation wheel is assigned to CC number 1, which we can find all the way down here in the browser. Have in mind that the two instruments I've loaded in Sample Tank both have modulation parameters assigned to them by default. So in these cases, I only have to link it to my keyboard's mod wheel using CC number 1, which is modulation. In case you've loaded an instrument that doesn't have modulation, just assign any parameters to the mod wheel or other knob or fader on your keyboard. Let's proceed to link the modulation. Now, since the modulation already has a CC number, which is CC1, just configure it in the MIDI out. On the MIDI out, hit the gear icon. Make sure it's set to CC and type the number here. You could also give the knob a name to stay organized. This way, when creating an automation clip, it's already correctly named. You can always reconfigure this by right clicking and hitting configure, and unlink it by hitting reset then accept. To assign one of these knobs in Sample Tank, click on Control. Here, we'll see the MIDI controller number, which is also the CC number that corresponds to these eight knobs. Now, on the MIDI out, hit the icon gear. Make sure it's set to CC and type in the number. In this case, we'll go for 16 to create an EQ sweep type of effect. Done. Let's assign a parameter from the edit page. In Sample Tank, press Learn. Then click on the parameter you want to link. In Sample Tank's plugin wrapper, select Browse Parameters. Now in FL Studio's browser, find an unassigned CC number. Move the knob by click, hold, and drag on it. We've now manually assigned this CC number to that parameter. Now, finally, in the MIDI out, Assign that same CC number to a free knob. To remove a CC number assignment in Sample Tank, click on Control. Select the parameter, click on Remove, then OK. When adding more MIDI outs for the other instruments, like we did in the 11th video of this series. Make sure both the port and channel number are set right and change their knobs assignments to the instrument CC number if necessary. And of course, rename the new MIDI output to stay organized. And that's pretty much it. Except that at this point, all the instrument channels are routed to just one output. If you want to add an effect to a separate instrument, in Sample Tank's mixer page, configure the output per instrument. Go to the VST wrapper settings. In the processing tab, click on Auto Map Outputs or manually choose the output number. These output numbers are relative to Sample Tank's routed mixer track. Now each instrument is routed to a separate mixer track for further processing. Okay. 
So that's it for linking your keyboard to VSTs like Sample Tank. In these last few videos, we've pretty much covered all the basic knowledge so you can configure FL Studio to your workflow and needs. From here on, we'll dive deeper into FL Studio's browser, the channel rack, piano roll, and the mixer track. We'll also look into working with samples in both the piano roll and playlist, and how to work with automation clips. And finally, I'll show you my workflow and how to rename stuff in FL Studio in an efficient way. See you in the next video.